So, I say, top secret or Atlas Shrunk, it was still her mind at play on all this. So let's quickly re review the chronology, the chronology, uh, chronology of Atlas Shrunk. And what I'm doing in this is when I show characters and so forth, it's going to be based on Atlas Shrugged 3. You're going to see the actors that's in it and their descriptions versus what we have in, uh, in Ayn Rand's work. So, uh, Journals of Ayn Rand, uh, Mind on Strike, Characters Needed, uh, page 405. I just want to talk about, this is, this is now April 10th, 1946. This is 20 days after Top Secret has been canceled. And what does she say? John Gall, energy, active, competence, initiative, ingenuity, and above all, intelligence. Independent, rational judgment. The man who conquers nature. The man who imposes his purpose on nature. Not only does he conquer, but he can change it. Therefore, Gall is an inventor, a practical scientist. A man who faces material world of science and adventure faces unexplored continent as a pioneer faced wilderness. Something to use, something to conquer, to turn to his own purposes in relation to creators. He is the avenger. He is the molder of the world. This is what she wrote about 20 days after Top Secret got canceled. So, experts have been unable to anchor uh, Atlas Shrunk to any fixed year. Major book events are measured over a 40 year span. What happens, and when I'm researching this, no one really knew what year John Galt was born in. So what happens is they say, well, if John Galt was born here, we know Paul Larkin was born 17 years before him. And we know Dan Connolly was born 13 years before him, and we know Reardon was born five years after him, and uh, 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 Ellis was born three years after him, Eddie Willis four years after him. It's all relative. And the reason producers use this, there was talk of a movie in 75 that fell through, but when they were thinking of making that, a uh, potential movie in the 70s is going to use John called birthday is 1935. Why? Add 40 years to it. It ends in 1975 when the movie was going to end. Now, Atlas Shrug 3, they wanted the ending to occur in 2000, 2015. When would he have to be born? At that point in time, for uh, 2015, they needed 1975 he's born in. 1985. Uh, 40 years. 40 years. I thought, I thought I was going to get overruled on something here so far. Uh, so, so this is the structure that was used for Atlas Shrug. Now what I'm going to do, a little later we're going to start comparing fictional characters' birth years to Manhattan Project scientists to see if we get any hits. Investigating the rumor that uh, scientists from the 40s who supposedly turned back an incredible invention, molten salt react, this is the guy. I, he's my prime suspect. Elvin M. Weinberg. Also here, he's a uh, beast on the answers. Uh, we start off with a, oh, we start off with an interesting coincidence too. It's hearsay. It'll be in the book, but it's not a fact here right now. But born in 1950 to Rush, Jewish Russian parents that were likely helped to America in 1905 by the same cousins who brought Anne Rand to America in 1946. Ellen Weinberg was raised in the same neighborhood, Hyde Park Boulevard area, that Anne Rand resided in for six months while she was in Chicago. Ellen Weinberg, one of the youngest visitors that had Project first came up with the concept of the light water uranium reactor in 1943, age 27. The 
couple years later, he came up with the thoughts of safer materials, thorium 233 in 1944. And in 19, and that was 19, at age 29. Uh, later, in the late 40s, he came up with the concept of the molten salt reactor. That's what's on back here. Albert Weinberg, 48, was President John F. Kennedy's scientific advisor. Based on the Atomic Energy Commission, AEC 62, report that President JFK had great plans for Albert Weinberg's peacetime molten salt thorium reactor technology should he be reelected to the White House second term, 1964. So, but let's, let's get back to the Atlas Shrugged people. So, uh, now if, if Iran truly based her powerful Atlas Shrugged character, Joe Galton, someone born in 1915, we would see if any coincidences occurred. And what we find is this. If for uh, John Galt, we put in these dates, we'll put in 1915, and so all the births are recorded there, and here's all the events occurring here. Now, based on 1915 date, AR's writing about contemporary times around 1946, if I look along here. And one of the things she's Writing on this an example, I'll, I'll delay. Confirmed the journals of Iran, chapter 11, the mind on strike, pages 390 through 91. It was around April of 46. She, she began this and only begins full time work on the novel, April 46, the most prolific month of journal writing in her life, is, is described. Now, no coincidence here, just some small ones. She's starting to write. And if I look across here, Midas Mulligan shuts down his bank and disappears. Her screenplay was shut down. If we go back further, John Gall uh, begins, uh, begins strike. It was 1942, he starts working for, on the atomic bomb. John Gall goes to work as a track laborer for Tiger Continental. This brilliant guy is doing media, um, uh, medial work calculations and so forth on neutrons. So these little things that are popping up here. Now, let's take a look at, here's the Atlas Shrug. I'm just gonna look at the birth dates right now, not the events that was occurring afterwards.